Today I will make a very simple model of a heat pump in DWC process simulation tool. And this is the final version of heat pump model that we will make in this video. Uh, I will not go into the detail of heat pump and I will assume that you already know the basics of heat pump that it converts heat at lower temperature to heat at higher temperature and heat at lower temperature is normally waste heat the performance of heat pump is calculated by coefficient of performance which should be greater than one in order to make a heat pump more efficient there are four main components of heat pump evaporator compressor condenser and expansion valve so let's start building the same model you open a new simulation file click the next button and for fluid I will choose R1233ZDE And for property, I will choose the cold probe, which is recommended for refrigerants, and it is an open source property package available in DWSM. For units, I prefer uh, temperature and degree C, pressure and power, and mass flow rate in kilogram per second. I will keep all those options as it is. And then we go into the simulation environment. We'll start with the evaporator. I will name it evaporator. We are modeling evapor evaporator by using a heater module from exchanger object palette of DWC. As we only selected one component so we do not need to change the mole fraction in compound amounts if you choose more than one component then you need to mention it the mole fraction of fluid here and for pressure we'll choose 1.16 or 1.2 bar temperature of 21 or you can also have pressure or vapor fraction or temperature and vapor fraction there whichever information you have mass flow rate of 1 is ok and then it needs to be evaporated so you click on the evaporator and calculation parameters you change the calculation type from heat edit to outlet vapor mole fraction as we are evaporating it so vapor fraction should be 1 at the outlet conditions And after evaporator you need a pressure changer we will use compressor here DWSIM automatically creates a new input and output for uh, our streams for newly added components so you need to check if it's doing it right or wrong in this case they are fine and uh, as you saw pressure was 1.1 uh, one bar there so let's see we are increasing the outlet pressure to 28 bar and I'm increasing the efficiency to 
now we can see the process conditions there as you see the temperature is now 50, 151 degrees centigrade pressure is 28 bar and now we need a condenser to utilize this heat and heat sinks and we again go to exchangers and we will use condenser we will just invert it horizontally and in condenser now it is opposite of evaporator we are condensing the fluid so we will change the calculation type from heat added to outlet vapor mole fraction to zero another thing is you need to press enter if you change any parameter there in DWSM so take care of this here and now we will use an expansion valve for this we will again go to pressure changer section and I will use valve here So as I showed earlier, it automatically creates stream, but we want to connect to the six instead of five. So I will disconnect the stream five, and instead I will connect it with six, and I will delete five. And in expansion valve, we have outlet pressure of again 1.2 bar bar and but again outlet stream i will disconnect it and i will add another one and we have to use a logical block of recycle here to converge the model properly recycle block is used if there are recycling in a system and I will connect this five stream with one and now the whole streams are blue it means our model is converged and now we can make changes accordingly there for example you can change the flow rate from 1 till for example 100 kilogram per second and just remember it you need to press enter and pressure to 1.2 bar yes that's totally fine and now we can put properties here master you can click the master property table yeah. double click to add it you can select all objects or according to your choice and you want to show temperature pressure and mass flow rate you close it so it can show pressure and temperature at different points for example at one the temperature is 22 degrees centigrade and then after evaporation it is at same temperature but in vapor form and after compressor at four stage uh, it is 150 degrees centigrade and then after condensation it is in liquid stage back and you can also add property table for condenser which is this one compressor power required and condenser heat removed so we can see 
power required for this heat pump is 6.3 or 6.4 megawatt and output is 7.5 megawatt so if you want to calculate the coefficient of performance which should be 7.5 divided by 6.5 and coefficient of performance is 1.15 you can also put it there link spreadsheet table you click it and double click it and select the range which is a1 to b1 the cop is 1.5 a the cop of an efficient heat pump should be greater than one uh, normally it is two or higher than two so there are multiple ways to increase the coefficient of performance for example here if you see uh, at sixth point after condenser temperature is still 151 degrees centigrade and we are now using expansion valve and reducing it to 22 degrees centigrade so there is a lot of heat available which can be utilized for heat water etc there so we can add an exchanger there and utilize a lot of heat here also you can add a multiple stage compressor to increase the efficiency of compression and you can also recuperation which i will explain in later videos also so for this uh, it is very simple to model and if you have any question you can write it in comments and meanwhile you can subscribe to this channel for more videos like this